What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Real Estate Investor Sab. We are in South Windsor in the Horta House and the Underprinting Project. And it's been a long, long time since I gave you an update. Oh my God, I'm in the basement. Look at this. That's the new floor. And look at that ceiling height. I don't know if you can notice that, but that's about nine and a half feet. It feels like I'm in a palatial home right now in the basement. It doesn't feel like I'm in the basement because of all that ceiling height that we gained with our underpinning. We left you off in how we're doing the underpinning. We actually did the last phase, so it's all concrete now, continuously, all the way around. You know, the ones, the twos, the threes, poured, set, got that finalized or approved by the city, inspected. And now we are in the process of waterproofing. As you can see, we got all our dimple board up. And what we're doing right now is we are prepping the floor so we can pour our concrete floor. So what we're gonna do is, right now we just put some gravel down so we can get rid of the water, right? We're gonna add another four inches, sorry, eight inches of gravel. We're gonna go eight inches because we have so much ceiling height that we can afford to lose some of it. And the reason why I'm doing that is that because basically when I cut down my egress windows, so over here, for example, when I cut down my egress windows, I need to have enough height of the final finished floor to access that window. And that's four feet according to OBC, according to code. So the finished floor to that window sill, it's gotta be four feet in height. If I go more than that, I gotta build some steps to go up to that window, which I don't wanna do. So because we got so much height in here, we actually gonna add some more gravel before we pour the four inches of concrete block. So we'll, we got eight inches and another four inches. So we're gonna raise this whole floor another foot and that'll still give us about eight and a half feet ceiling height in here, which is gonna be oh so amazing. But that's how you do underpinning project. Guys, it's possible, it's doable, it's hard labor, it's hard work. But once it's done, the outcome is so beautiful. Let me take you quickly on the outside and show you what's going on over there.